Oh, I've been waiting for this Irish whiskey review, guys. All right, Irish distillers together with the Mitchell family are celebrating 135 years of whiskey, one of Ireland's last remaining wine merchants, by crafting this celebratory release. This is the Gold Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. It's got a nice big nine year age statement on it. Let's learn more, compare it, and see if it's worth the chase on the mash and drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from The Master and Drum, and welcome to the show. This has been a great year for Irish whiskey, and wondering if this gold spot with a combination of four different cast types can impress. But before we start, let's make a bourbon cocktail. That's right, a bourbon cocktail with today's sponsor, It's Shaker and Spoon. Oh, Shaker and Spoon sent me a new box. It's called Bring On the Bourbon. It's bourbon cocktail time. All right, so Shaker and Spoon is an amazing subscription service that I've been talking about for you know a couple months. It teaches you to make bar quality cocktails from recipes designed by award-winning mixologists. Maybe you're looking at this and saying, oh, that looks kind of complicated. Well, luckily in the box, you get all these recipe cards that guide you through mixing, garnishing each cocktail, step-by-step -step in great detail, including the glassware you need, uh, different methods you're gonna be using, and even a glossary that explains any unfamiliar bartending terms. Anyone can make one of these high-end cocktails. I'm gonna make today something called the Choco Facto. So this is kind of like this chocolate bourbon coffee type cocktail. Let's do it. So I already have my bourbon in the shaker. It's time to add my chocolate syrup, which is right here. Pour that in. Then it says add three dashes of coffee bitters. That's right, all the coffee. One. Now I just gotta shake it a bit. Strain it into my glass. And then add these chili threads on top for like an extra added little touch. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Everybody needs to drink that right now. Chocolate, coffee, bourbon, three of my favorite things in one glass. All right, so I know you want this. So to recap, Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription service that will deliver these craft cocktails to you. Each box has three recipes with enough ingredients for 12 total cocktails, four from each recipe. Click the link below in the description and use the code MASHINDRUM at checkout for $20 off your first box. That's right, 20 bucks off your first box. Now go get some of these fun cocktails. This thing is, this is the bee's knees right here. Cheers, guys. All right, so this limited edition expression pays tribute to the unique history of the Mitchell's whiskey bonding business, which all began back in 1887 when the bonders sent empty wine and fortified wine casks to local Jameson Distillery in Bow Street to be filled with new single pot still spirit for maturation in its underground cellars. Now, once those casks were filled, the fortified wine casks would be marked with a spot of colored paint to determine the age potential with a blue spot, green spot, yellow spot, and red spot, respectively indicating seven, 10, 12, and 15 year age ranges of the whiskeys. All right, so why gold? Well, you know, to the Mitchells, the color gold symbolizes a true celebration of over seven generations and 135 years of crafting great Irish whiskey. The color on that. All right, so what's in the bottle? There's a lot going on. So the whiskey's matured for a minimum of nine years, uh, utilizing the trademark X bourbon and X sherry cast to start, then married together with unique proportions of hand-selected Bordeaux wine casks and port pipes. The inclusion of port casks is actually a first for a modern spot whiskey. This is a partnership that Irish distillers have had with Portugal's Douro Valley for quite some time. What's funny is, is I think when people hear port pipes, they think of something other than it being a barrel. But basically a port pipe is essentially a large, lengthy barrel with tapered ends. And the sizes can vary quite a bit, anywhere from 350 to 600 liters, with an average of about 550 liters or 145 gallons. So apparently the team at Middleton was inspired by these documents they found dating back to the late 1800s, showing a good amount of uh, port pipes being imported into Ireland, which once emptied would have been used to mature Irish whiskey. So pretty cool uh, throwback. All right, so the rest of the stats, non chill filtered, bottled at 102.8 proof. It was released in the US in limited quantities in mid-July for about $130. What they don't tell you on the bottles, the majority of the stocks come from nine year bourbon, sherry, and port matured whiskey, but the Bordeaux wine matured whiskey is actually 16 to 17 years old. How much, don't really know, but let's try it. I wanna thank uh, Donald Rance for that little tidbit of information, my Irish whiskey Yoda. 
and of course my buddy OH for uh, for sending me the bottle to review. So cheers guys, thank you so much for your help. Let's dive in. I mean this is as fruit forward as it gets on a whiskey. It's really just punching through. This is a caramel apple, but green apple. Caramel green apple to me. The type of caramel green apple with like the nuts on the outside. <laughs> like toasted nuts. I mean, you get a little bit of like that typical pineapple, that peach note that you typically get from a, you know, from a good Irish whiskey. There is some, some, uh, some darkness to it. I want to say maybe like a raspberry, you know, from those, uh, from those port casks. The one thing that I'm glad I still get that I thought I would maybe miss with all those different types of cask maturation is the pot still spice and the wood spice. It's still there. Nice black pepper notes, but man, this is fruity. It's apple heavy. It's, it's so far so good. All right, let's give it a try. I honestly really expected the, 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 all the different cask maturation to really overtake this. But honestly, the first sip, this is all like pot still spice. It's black pepper. Get some nice sweet oak on it. And then all those, those fruits I was talking about, the caramel apple all kind of take over. Now, second sip is kind of a whole different animal. The second sip is now you're getting all that cask maturation. You're getting the little hints of, uh, of green apple. And again, that raspberry note I was picking up before. There's a sweetness, like a very bright, like white chocolate pop that I'm getting too. But it all follows with that pot still spice on the very, very back end of it. Man, right in between too, there's like that pineapple note. Yeah, pineapple, peaches, caramel apple. Again, the pot still spice all there. I feel like this is one of those whiskeys, and I've said this before about some other whiskeys that I've had that this is really gonna depend on your palate. There's just so much going on with all that, all that different cask maturation that I really think it's really gonna be on you to kind of figure out what you're going to pick up on here. You know, for me, it's, it's kind of hard to get past like that caramel apple. There's a little bit of nuttiness too, but all the pot still spices, the pineapple, the peach, all in between, and like that little like hint of like white chocolate raspberry on the very, very back end to go along with that pot still spice too. I mean, it's delicate. This isn't gonna, this isn't a whiskey that's gonna just like, you know, blow your palate away. I will say it's velvety. It's got a nice viscosity to it. Is it like really blowing me away? I'm, I'm not, not so sure. Now I did compare this to the Redbreast Cast Rank 12 year on a live stream, but I mean, it's just kind of a different animal. I, I still think that's probably like, you know, that, that like my go-to Irish whiskey along with, uh, with Powers John's Lane. You know, real kind of direct Irish whiskeys with some really powerful, great flavors. But there's so much going on with these different cask maturations that I really think the only way I could compare this is to a couple of other spots. So let's see how it does against some others. All right, this is an Irish whiskey tasting. I'm putting Gold Spot against some of the little bit of a higher tier, uh, more harder to find um, uh, spot whiskeys. Green Spot's pretty available anywhere. So I want to see how it does against this 15 year. So the Red Spot 15 year was. Uh, Bourbon, Sherry, and Marsala. Uh, only 92 proof on that one though. The Blue Spot, which was my World Whiskey of the Year last year, seven years, cast strength. This was um, Bourbon, Sherry, and Madeira. And then you have the Yellow Spot, which is a nice big 12 year age statement on it. Uh, this is Bourbon, Sherry, and Malaga cast. So all different types of cask maturations. Uh, the Blue Spot came in at 58.7, 117.4 proof, easily, easily the highest. And the yellow spot comes in at 46%, just like the red spot. So let's uh, compare them. First, let's just kind of run through the noses real quick. See which one is most interesting. Wow, the red spot is just so intensely sweet. The red spot to me is dark fruit, like all dark. Like this gets more into like, this is like definite like raspberry and even like black cherry. And even chocolate you get on that one. Blue spot. I gotta say, Blue Spot, for me, I mainly got a lot of the bourbon influence on Blue Spot. So we got a lot of like, the toffee, the vanilla, the caramels. 
And uh, something that I picked up the other day, so a little bit of a, like, a, like a banana note, like a cooked banana, like a plantain, like a sweet banana note. All right, let's go to the yellow spot. This is one I haven't had in a little bit. Yellow spot for me is all honey soaked peaches. Honey soaked peaches, black, they all have that pot still spice on it. But man, man, if I had to give the, if I had to give the nose a winner, The red spot and the gold spot are close. I like a little bit darker fruit, so I think I might be leaning towards red spot a little bit. All right, let's try red spot. Red spot's delicious, guys. It's just against these, the proof might hold it back a little bit. One more sip here. Man, I forgot how good red spot is. That 15 year, damn. Even at 92 proof, it's got some really nice spice to it. All right, I'm gonna stay in that realm. I'm gonna go to the yellow spot now. This is more of a delicate, honey, fruity Irish whiskey. This, this is definitely a crowd favorite, but I think these three overall just give you a little bit more. All right, to the blue spot now. The blue spot just gives you the punch of flavor. The punch of flavor that you're looking for the sweetness, I don't think the sweetness is as layered as either the gold or the red, but I think people would lean towards the blue spot because of how much flavor you get in that, just that like first initial hit and sip. Now to the gold spot. Yeah, the gold spot is very good. And I think what does make that difference is that port cask maturation. The, that white chocolate raspberry note is something I'm not getting in any of these. It really just gonna depend on what your palate pulls out of this one because there's so much going on in the gold spot. All right, last tip on the red spot. You know what? I haven't had the red spot in a long time. That one might be my favorite right now. I mean, I love the blue spot, but the red spot has so many flavors and so much going on. All right, interesting tasting. Let's go to the final breakdown on the gold spot nine year Irish whiskey. All right, guys, final breakdown on the gold spot price, about 130 bucks, secondary market. Um, haven't seen these on secondary yet, but I have seen these on other websites that are selling this for upwards of 250 to 300. So we are seeing some higher, uh, some higher pricing on this other than retail. Availability, do I have to say it? So value for the gold spot, nine years is the majority of this Irish whiskey. Um, 16 to 17 years old for the Irish whiskey that was aged in the Bordeaux wine casks, roughly. The issue is, is that the, the regular buyer is not gonna know that there's some nice ultra age whiskey in there. They're gonna see the nine year age statement for 130 bucks, and that might, you know, make them step back a little bit. But if you kind of know going in, there's some 16 to 17 year old whiskey in there, 130 bucks, four different types of cask maturation, I'm gonna say it's, I'll say it's a good value. Uh, what's the most I'd pay? I mean, overall, I don't think I would really go more than retail for this, honestly. All right, is this a recommend? Now, the thing is, is that because this is a, you know, 135th anniversary bottle, the gold, it's limited, all this stuff, all this pomp and circumstance around this bottle, most chances are you're gonna find this for higher than the $130 retail price point. So is it a recommend? Yes, but is it worth, you know, a, a huge markup? Absolutely not. I think there's too much great Irish whiskey right now in today's market to overpay against this one. It's a great release, but I think there's a lot of other Irish whiskeys and even spots out there to go right up against it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this review for the new Gold Spot Nine Year Irish Whiskey. Um, thank you so much uh, to OH for, uh, for sending this over to me. And of course, I'm gonna blend all four of these because I'm just mixing a bunch of colors together. I'm just gonna call this the gray spot. <laughs> uh, you mix all these colors together, you know what you're gonna get. Let's just call it the gray spot. We'll see what happens. The gray spot is friggin' delicious. Gold, red, blue, yellow. Do it right now. That's amazing. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this review for the new Gold Spot Nine Year Irish Whiskey. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet, what you think of it. So like I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers to the Gold Spot. Cheers to the Gray Spot. 
Cheers to the Mitchell family. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum.